Ralph Rangnick already facing Man United backlash over controversial changes. Ralph Rangnick is reportedly facing a growing backlash from his Manchester United players to his training methods just one month into his tenure as interim manager. Rangnick was officially appointed as Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's successor until the end of the season on November 29. The German was brought in to restore some order to a side who had grown listless in the final weeks of Solskjaer's reign. His first month in charge has seen United go unbeaten, picking up three wins and two draws in all competitions. However, the nature of the performances, especially in the 1-1 draw against Premier League strugglers Newcastle on Monday, has left a lot to be desired. Rangnick is known for his unerring commitment to an intense pressing game, and his 4-2-2-2 formation has been in evidence in recent matches. It was ditched after a dreadful first half at St James Park, and it seems the on-pitch tactics are not the only thing which is beginning to grate with the players. According to the Daily Mail the mood at United's Carrington training ground is very low and dressing room cliques have continued to be a problem. United's canteen has reportedly had four-seater booths installed in a move which has only heightened the divide between the players. Meanwhile, players are said to be struggling with the change in time of training sessions from the previous regime, with Rangnick preferring a later workout. This meant that the players left the training ground in the dark at 5 p.m. on Tuesday, an hour after the sun went down. Problems from Solskjaer's reign have continued, with Anthony Marshall asking to leave, Dean Henderson and Eric Billy seeking assurances over game time and Jesse Lingard and Donny van de Beek unhappy with their positions in the squad. Have your say. What do you make of Ralph Rangnick's start as Manchester United manager? Comment below. Meanwhile, reports in the Spanish press have suggested that Cristiano Ronaldo is particularly unhappy with the new regime. Mundo Deportivo say that Ronaldo is not convinced by Rangnick's methods a claim which chimes with his body language on the pitch at Newcastle. Ronaldo was frequently seen throwing his arms up in the air at St James Park and was later slammed for leaving the pitch without acknowledging the travelling supporters. United put in a disjointed performance at Newcastle, surrendering possession a whopping 167 times. Rangnick had mentioned the player's poor body language following the 1 0 win over Norwich, but refused to make the same point at Newcastle. Today was not a question of body language, it was a question of body physicality, he said. But former United defender Gary Neville definitely did not agree in his post-match analysis. Something isn't right in there, Neville said on Sky Sports. I don't know what it is, but there is definitely whinging going on. They are all at each other and not helping each other. The spirit of a 